What's up guys? This is What's My Game and thank you for watching. I'm going to show you just how special I am and I'm going to show you the perks that I chose with the first 21 points that you get uh, to start the game and why I chose those and give you some detail. Here we go. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Okay, so let me just say this. The points at the beginning that you get, the 21 points, are important. But I don't think they're as important as I and many of us thought they were. Because once you start playing the game, you're not going to get the perks that come along with it. You're going to have the access to those perks. But until you level up and add points into these columns, you're not going to get the perks. You're not going to get the perks until you've leveled up. And each time you level, you take that point and you can add a perk inside that column. So I'd have to level to level six before I could then take my strength all the way to the point that I want it to. Um, and then on top of that, you can take those same points and add them into your special category in case you didn't like how you initially set it up. It's a little bit confusing. Okay, so back to the initial 21 points. I'm gonna put six points in strength because I want to be able to get strong back. Strong back gives you access to a bunch of different uh, weight carrying abilities. So you can carry more weight, which means you can carry more items. So you can sell them. There's just no limit to why that's good for you. So you'll wanna be able to carry more in this game, trust me. And uh, yes, you'll have companions, but you wanna be able to carry it. And uh, a lot of, uh, going to level six, you'll get a bunch of other things as well. You'll get blacksmith and heavy gunner and armor. These will help you with armor mods and melee weapon mods and punching power. The next one is luck. I'm gonna put five points in luck because I love this idiot savant perk. Um, basically, this gives you experience. This is the only perk that gives you extra experience, so I'm a big fan. On top of that, uh, there's other benefits to get to level five uh, for, for luck, um, including getting more uh, ammunition and more caps from different things that you find. Um, it's called scrounger for ammunition and more bottle caps is called fortune finder. So a lot of good benefits up to level five too. Now the next one is agility. I'm gonna put three points in agility because I like the sneak skill. Uh, being able to sneak is also nice if you wanna get away from enemies, it, it makes you harder to detect. But also when you sneak and you successfully hit an enemy, you can get a lot more damage on that enemy. So that's a huge benefit. So not only can you get away from somebody, but when you do decide to take action, that sneak skill is awesome. Also, it'll help you with automatic weapons and non-automatic pistols. You'll get some benefits on level one and level two leading up to level three on agility. The next one is endurance. Um, I like the life giver perk. Basically, it's gonna give you more health. I don't care what game you're playing, more health is always a good thing. So having more health is good. So I went to level three here. You'll also get lead belly, which allows you to uh, eat and drink without as much radiation effects. Also, you're gonna gain additional damage resistance on level one, and that's just helpful all the way around. I think it's 10% 10, 10 better damage resistance. So that you're gonna get those before you get to level three. The next one is perception. Um, the one I like is locksmith. So I put in four points to get, well, three more points to get to level four for locksmith. And the locksmith speaks for itself. It allows you to open advanced locks, expert locks. And if you're opening up great locks, then you're getting great shit from it. The loot is going to be awesome. That's going to allow you to get into better places. It's going to allow you to open better doors to get more loot. There's just, and, and there, there's a bunch of benefits leading up to that as well. On level one, you're gonna get access to pickpocketing and that's awesome, uh, which will make that easier. Also, level three is cool. It gives you awareness, which shows the damage resistance to the enemies while you're in VATS. So those are all really good things that you're gonna also get access to while you're leading up to level four. The next one is charisma. Charisma is awesome. There's a bunch of cool benefits uh, to charisma, um, but obviously we can't put too much in there. I'm going to go to level four. So I'm going to put three more points in it to level four because I like the attack dog perk. Uh, it allows dog meat to bite and hold on to enemies, which is great with uh, VATS with VATS because he actually holds on to the enemy and you can shoot them specifically, hopefully in the head while he's got him held down and it really is helpful. On top of that, you'll be able to get cap collector, which gives you buying and selling um, uh, benefits. Uh, also, the lone wonder perk is cool. If you don't have a companion, you'll get be able to carry more shit uh, and you'll do more damage. 
which is always good. The last co the special category is intelligence. I'm going to add my last two points to intelligence to make it three. I want access to gun nut. Gun nut increases your base level and rank one gun mods. Uh, it also gives you access to be a medic, which increases the effectiveness of your stim packs and rat away. And then also probably the most important is it put at least one point in it because you're going to get access to VATS, which is the close quarter uh, targeting system that Fallout uses and it's awesome it always has been last thing you're going to do is add your name and you're good to go i just want to say one more thing guys the points at the beginning that you get the 21 points are important but i don't think they're as important as i and many of us thought they were because once you start playing the game you're not going to get the perks that come along with it you're going to have the access to those perks but until you level up and add points into these columns you're not going to get the perks you're not going to get the perks until you've leveled up, and each time you level, you take that point, and you can add a perk inside that column. So I'd have to level to level 6 before I could then take my strength all the way to the point that I want it to. Um, and then on top of that, you can take those same points and add them into your special category in case you didn't like how you initially set it up. It's a little bit confusing. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please subscribe and like. Please share the video. I have much more Fallout 4 content coming. Have a fantastic day. This is What's My Game. See ya!